Greetings, YouTube! Joe here from Colonation Media, and welcome back to the very next episode of Pokemon White. This is episode two, and in the last part, we pretty much just began our journey, and I have a couple of things to explain before we go any further. First of all, if you noticed I didn't get any experience in the last episode, that's because I forgot about the whole experience patch thingamajiggy uh, that goes along with emulators, but I got it fixed, so... Off screen, I did a little bit of catching up, and I got up to, like, level 7, because I figured that was reasonable. Uh, because we do have to fight a trainer coming up towards the end of this, uh, episode that's, I think, level 7. So, or has level 7 Pokemon, rather. Anywho, we're just taking care of some business on Route 1. Nothing major. And uh, Snivy learned Vine Whip, he learns it at level 7. For those of you that didn't know that, and uh, that's pretty much where we're at. This is going to be a pretty boring episode. We don't have a whole lot to do. I plan on just getting over to uh, Cumula Town and um, doing the whole thing with Team Plasma over there. And yeah, I don't want to give it all away. Let's just take that one by year. So basically, we're just heading north here. And you do have to go through a little bit of grass. The only Pokemon that you can find here are Lillipup and... Patrat. I don't feel like catching either of them right now because I'm pretty lazy. So you just say yes to Bianca here and you'll compare Pokemon. What? 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 You only have Snivy. If you don't catch any Pokemon, won't Snivy get lonely? Incidentally, oh, Sharon doesn't even care about that. I don't really either. You don't get anything for having the most Pokemon, so don't worry about it if you don't feel like doing it. Four-way call. Fantastic. You and your Pokemon are getting along great now, right? Right now, I'm in front of Accumula Town's Pokemon Center. So basically, all this call is going to accomplish is to give us the information that we need to go meet Professor Juniper over at the Pokemon Center, which is like five feet away. So I don't know why we had to have like video chat for that. But oh well, there's not really anything else to do in this town, I don't think. Ah, Colonation, let's go explore the Pokemon Center. And really, there's only one major difference um, in this game as compared to the games before it. And uh, keep in mind that this is the beginning of Generation 5. This was the first game of the Generation 5, all that stuff. The main difference is that the Pokemart is now included in the Pokemon Center, so there's not two buildings. You won't have the blue building outside with the uh, Pokemart and have its own building. It's now included in the Pokemon Center and it's down on the right uh, the right hand corner down at the bottom there and we're going to go see that in a second so we learned how to heal our Pokemon which is super uber hard and uh, now we're gonna learn about the PC professor it says someone's PC on the screen who is someone very good Bianca that's a great observation and I'd like to say more but for now I'll just ignore that and go ahead and use the PC Someone is the person who made the Pokemon Story system. Someone I'm sure you'll meet someday. Well, that was really informative. Not. Now, this is the Pokemart. This is the place to buy useful items. Blah, blah, blah. The only items you can buy right now are Pokeballs and potions. So, yeah, there are two clerks, just like in some of the other Pokemarts from previous games. And you can buy different things from each one. The only thing I'm interested in buying right now, however... It's Pokeballs, because I want to make sure I'm stocked up and not run into a Pokemon that I want to catch and not have enough Pokeballs for it. So, we're going to do that. We'll buy 10, because that'll also get us a free Premier Ball, which is pretty much the same thing as a Pokeball, and just a different color. It's like a special Pokeball that is still a Pokeball, if that makes any sense. Probably doesn't. That's alright, we can get out of here now, though. We're all stocked up. And now what's going on? Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a little look-see. Did he just really say look-see? He got away with it, that, that jerk. Clonation, come here a second. Okay, I'm here. Who are all these people in weird costumes? And another person in a really weird costume. My name is Getsus. I am here representing Team Plasma. Ah, evil. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? Yeah, that does sound kind of kooky. I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. 
That's exactly what I was thinking. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume that this is the truth? No, I, I, I've never thought of that, creepy man. Pokemon are subject to the selfish commands of trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work, quote unquote. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you're crazy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They're living beings that contain unknown potential. They're living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? Mmm, that sounds bad. That's right, we must liberate the Pokemon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokemon truly be equals. So basically, this guy is like, crazy as hell. So we need to like, not listen to anything that he says from now on. We will see him a couple of times throughout the game. And for those of you that don't know how this game goes, I don't really want to spoil it, so... I'm not going to give away too much information. Um, but he's a very interesting character, that's for sure, and he will pop up a couple of times. That's all I'm going to say for now. About that speech, what do you think we should do? Liberate Pokemon? That's not even possible! And on that awkward note, the crowd disperses. Crowd, disperse, go! Yeah, weird guy with a hat. Your Pokemon just now was saying... Slow down, you talk too fast. You tell him, Sharon. Talk way too fast. And what's this about Pokemon talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you can't hear it either. How sad. My name is N. My name is Sharon, and this is Colonation. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become champion, though. The Pokedex, eh? So you're going to combine many, many Pokemon and Pokeballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help wondering. Are Pokemon really happy that way? He really does talk fast, doesn't he? Let me hear your Pokemon's voice again. So now we're gonna battle this weird dude. And his name is N. I like his hair, and I especially like his strange baseball cap. He only has one Pokemon. It's going to be at level 7. Purloin. Pure Dark type. But you don't really have to worry about that. It's too early in the game to worry about type advantages and all that stuff. You can pretty much just attack him every turn and you should be able to win regardless of which Pokemon you started with. So I'm just going to use um, Vine Whip. I had a brain fart there. Just going to use Vine Whip a couple of turns. And we should be able to knock it out in like four or five hits. And that's pretty much it. Well, maybe two more hits now. The one thing I didn't like about Vine Whip is that it only has 35 base power or 30 base power. One of those. It's kind of weak. Um, and because in 5th gen, Tackle was raised up to 50 base power, you know, Vine Whip is much weaker than Tackle now, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, considering Snivy starts with Tackle and then learns Vine Whip. Anyway, Snivy grew up to level 8, and almost up to level 9 after that battle. So he got a pretty decent chunk of experience. As long as Pokemon are confined to Pokeballs, Pokemon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokemon! So this guy's kind of screwed up in the head, too. Huh, strange guy. But I'm not going to worry about it. Trainers and Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striation City. So that's going to be our next destination. We're going to be heading out to Striation... Blah, 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 I can't speak. We're going to be heading out to Striation City to take on the first gym leader, which is stationed there. Wow. I can't talk today. Alright, do you have anything to give me? No, you don't. I know about saving the game. You don't have to tell me these things. Alright, let's all get all healed up here. And then uh, right before we go, we'll do some exploring and go in all the houses and talk to everybody. Because there's bound to be somebody here that's going to be nice and feeling, you know, like a little bit generous. and Like, oh, let me give you this item for nothing. So, we want to find that person. Because... There's bound to be something here that we would want or need. And if there's not, I'm going to be very sad. It's important to train your Pokemon in battle, blah, blah, blah. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. I bet that it's going to be in the last house that I have to search through. But that's okay. Anyway, I guess I'll just talk a little bit about my team and such. Somebody had asked me... I forget when it was, but it was right after 
uh, the first episode of White went up, somebody asked me um, on my own YouTube channel, they asked, they were like, well, why don't you use this person on your team? Why don't you use this Pokemon on your team? Blah, blah, blah. I already have my team picked out, so you don't have to worry about uh, giving me suggestions or anything like that. I will in the future probably have a fan-made team. I'm not sure how I, how I want to do that. But as for now, usually going into the game, I have a set plan on how I want to do whatever run that I'm doing. So it's already picked out, so don't worry about uh, suggesting. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. When you hit yes to these uh, people, they start playing their instruments and it plays as you walk through the town. You know, you can hear the piano and the drums, which is pretty cool, I guess. That's one of the only places in the entire game that you can change the music like that. So. I don't know, I think it's kind of cool. I guess we only have these two houses left to explore. There's bound to be something in here. I want items. I want you to give me items. Guess what I know. I don't care what you know. I really don't. I just want you to give me things. I'm greedy like that. Blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I'm, I'm using a team uh, in this run that I haven't ever used. In fact, I've only beaten this game two times, so. It's not like I have a lot of experience. Um, like when it comes to Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness that I'm doing on my YouTube channel, I've beaten that game probably about 200 times, and that's not an exaggeration. I've actually beaten it that many times. And I know that's ga that game is really long, and I've still beaten it that many times. Because that's like basically my entire childhood right there was Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, constantly. I love that game so much, so... I wanted to do something that... Ah, an item, finally! And it's just a Pokeball, crap. Anyway, I just wanted to do something that is a little bit newer and something that I haven't really uh, done a whole lot with, so it's kind of fresh for both for the viewers and for myself. So, win-win. All right, so I guess we're done in Accumula Town now because I pretty much talked to everybody that's here. Get in the habit of talking to these people that are in these little tunnels because some of them will in fact give you items. Uh, you can find some TMs and other items in that way, so just make sure to talk to them. The worst that happens is what happened right there and they just don't give you anything, but it's really not that bad. It doesn't take that long. I always want to call this the cross transceiver now, now that I know that it's actually a cross transceiver and not an X transceiver. It's your mom! She thought that was some kind of sick joke. Okay, Mom, what do you want? But I'm going to hang up the cross transceiver now. Because you're stalking me, Mom, is that why? I finally caught up with you, and look how far you've come already. Professor Juniper said that you were probably headed for Striation City, which is correct. But she has a good reason for stalking us. She's going to give us the running shoes, and now we can get along, or get around, is what I meant to say get around a little bit faster and not have to worry about speeding up constantly. So, yeah, bye mom, thanks a lot. It's the best thing that your mom's going to do for you in this game. We let's test these things out. Yeah, look at that. That is awesome. All right. You don't give me anything, do you? No. Nope. You don't even battle me, you don't do anything. What is the point of you even being there? pick up a potion that's hanging out in the grass right there and this youngster over here with the orange cap is going to be the first battle uh, I guess trainer battle as far as sight goes I don't know what I'm talking about but that's gonna be the end of this episode guys thank you very much for watching and if we get this video up to 250 views I'll put out the third one I'll see you next time guys